This is Deep Blue, a charter boat that goes out of Eastbourne's Sovereign Harbour. It offers a range of fishing and sightseeing trips for everyone to enjoy. The owner and skipper of this fine vessel is Simon Logan, a cheery Geordie boy that will ensure you have a fun-filled day with the chance of catching some great fish. If he's not enough, then the friendly dog Oxley will be sure to keep you smiling if he's on board. In today's episode, Simon anchors up on some ground consisting of reef, rock, sand and gullies. Armed with some scratching rigs and a client from Canada, we set off to see what we could achieve. To book a trip on the deep blue charter boat, I'll put the link below. Be sure to have a look. on the website and all the information's on there. Simon's taking us out we're with one of his lovely clients and we're going to go and have a little go at fishing uh, an area of sand and a bit of reef and just to scratch for a little while and see what's out there. Hopefully we'll get a ray or two, probably place, bound to be some whiting but what a gorgeous day we have for it. So thank you for coming along, fingers crossed, we'll catch some fish. See you out there. the end of a lugworm. Place absolutely love it. We've got something on it. The gear might need tightening on it a bit possibly. Oh there that's a ah it's a uh, dogfish. Oh dogfish. Wonderful dogfish. On my channel we call them obligatory dogfish. <laughs> There we go. Good way to start. Good way to start. No blank, which is always good. <laughs> right, we're just setting up. Um, we've had a, two dogfish so far. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're just waiting for some slightly bigger fish now, but we're just using little bits of squid and little bits of lug. I'll just put my scratching rig out. You'll see that bouncing along. A bit of squid on there and a bit of lug worm. Hopefully we'll get a double or a cup. I love a dogfish, it might be one of them days. But hey, that's a real small one. There's a tiddler, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a baby dogfish? As I say, we'll, we'll, give it a, we'll give it half an hour, hour here and see hey, what happens and we'll move, we'll move it. It's not a big deal, it's for catching fish. If there's fish. dogfish, it means there's other fish down there. Yeah, exactly. So, I'm hoping this will be a ray. Um, we put a whole, a whole squid on this one. Um, it's definitely what do you think? Now. A bit something, a bit more weight? Hopefully it'll be a format ray. It's on a nice easy running running ledger setup. Oh no, it's a very big dogfish. 
bigger dog. Well, <laughs> he is a big one. Here, yeah. <laughs> this week. Well, he's definitely heavier. <laughs> he's a lot heavier, yeah. It's yeah. a bit of improvement from my one. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we're making progress. Yeah. Right, so it's Dogfish Central so far. Um, I think we've probably had about 12, something like that. We're going to try another bit of area in a little while, so we'll end up putting the anchor in. And um, moving spot. See if we can get something else. But we've got one, two, three, four rods of that. And uh, yeah, so far a lot of dogfish. But uh, yeah, I'll just quickly show you around Simon's boat because it's a great boat to fish from. So you've got the engine is under under the boat, so you've got no engine blocks. It's nice, loads of deck space. Nice bit of bait board there. So you've got all your bait and bits and bobs. You've got a nice big cool box. You know, to put your massive twenty-pound fish in. We'll, we'll, we'll come up eventually. Nice wheelhouse at the back there. I'll take you in. So for people who don't like the cold weather, you can come in here. Look at this beautiful screen. We're on a huge Raymarine screen, which has got Navionics on it. Another Raymarine unit down there. Nice bit down there. Some seats there, got a nice table to relax. TV up there. Stunning boat. A really, really nice boat. Boiler over here, which is Simon does a very good cup of tea. That's all laid out for you, and, uh, and yeah, that goes off it. There's a nibble on the red rod down there. Where's Aaron gone? There he is. But yeah, load, loads and loads of space. Um, I think so. so. You have eight anglers, do you, Simon Max? Um, I, I, I'm quoted for 10. 10 anglers is my uh, maximum allowance, uh, but I take 8 just to make it more comfortable for people, really. But um, if you're a very close neck group, you can have 10, that's not a problem at all. There you go. So, as I say, I'll, uh, I'll put the link in the description down below um, and uh, give him a message if you want to come out on Deep Blue. It's a lovely, lovely big boat to fish from, loads of room. Uh, they've got rod holders all around the boat. So, you can say you've got one, two, we've got fishing with five, six, you know, six, eight rods, loads of rods, loads of space. And uh, who doesn't love a Geordie? We're, they're always good fun to fish with. Way I. <laughs> Just fingers crossed the uh, the fish come on the feed. So Aaron's into a fish on a my very light lure rod. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. guess it's probably another dogfish, but <laughs> we've got a bite. We're not ruling it out. A bite on that one, which won't go now. It's on camera. It's camera shy. Here as well. Bite, 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 there we go. Another doggy. Another dogfish. Little dogfish. Little baby dogfish. Oh, yay, yay, yay. There he is. They're just black. Yeah. So Simon's moved us to a new spot. Obviously, you would have just heard him speaking about where we are. And uh, we've all had bull husks. We've had three little bull husks. Uh, bull husks can grow up to sort of 10, 12, 15 pounds. So um, hopefully, there'll be some bigger ones out there. That's that's good news. We've got away from the dogfish and into the bull hus. Very similar fish, but it's good to know there's a few more bits out there. Yeah, and uh, into another fish. Oh, we've got a bite on that rod. We, I'm, I'm, I'm after a conger on that rod, but um, oh, he's come off. Oh, he come off. Not to worry. We'll send it back down there for a bigger one. The bait's still on it, so that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Send it back down. All right, let's have a little look. What's... No, he come off. Let's see what this inquiry is. Oh, here we go. Might be a bigger, might be a bigger fish. I'm missing all the action. I know. Oh no, it's a small one. Oh, he's slightly bigger than the other bull, but uh, still a great We got you exactly. Exactly. We're getting bigger. We're getting bigger. <laughs> Yeah, that bait is about the size of him. There you go, another little bull hus. Very pretty fish. There you go. All right, boys, here we are. We've been waiting for something a little bit bigger. I've got to be careful what I say. Someone's got the net. I'll look embarrassing if it's big. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a dogfish coming backwards. Can you believe that? <laughs> right. The, net, the net's going away. The net's going away. The net's going Get away. rid of the net. That, that didn't happen. We'll, we'll edit that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Because the tide's picked up so much, that it just shows that it feels a lot, yeah. a lot bigger than they actually are. 
Mm, yeah, so another dogfish, which fought more than it should have done. Naughty dogfish. Right, so if you can hear me over that rather loud purr of the diesel, we're going to go and drift some uh, reef and uh, we'll choose little bits of bait like we were doing there. Where we were just now was very, very quiet. There wasn't, there wasn't very many fish. So hopefully, where we're going, there'll be one or two more. We'll see. Right, so the trip has come to an end on the course. Dogfish, uh, bull husks, whiting, and uh, a sea urchin on a rock. Um, that's what's out there at the moment. It's a hard time of year. The tides are small, the sun's out, which is never a great thing. Um, but we can only give it a go. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, come back next week, maybe two weeks time uh, for the next fishing video. Cheers.